Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm an astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History, and I host Star Talk. Welcome back to Star Talk Radio. They're fighting all these air molecules. Like, what's up with that? We went. Astrophysicists went. Oh! Yeah, I said. Smack! Bada bing! What, 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 if life is teeming across the galaxy, how, where are they? How come they're not just walking into the front door of the White House or visiting us here in New York in Times Square? I have some unorthodox thoughts on that matter. I wonder, first, maybe they have visited us in Times Square, but no one noticed because everybody who kind of hangs out in Times Square is just a little crazy. And then I worry, suppose the aliens visited during Comic-Con and they would land at Comic-Con and everyone is dressed as alien and nobody notices. A more serious concern I have is, by the way, our hubris forces us to think of ourselves as intelligent. I am the smart. I am the smart. We have a certain intelligence gap between us and other creatures on Earth. We, you don't walk by the worm on the street and say, gee, I wonder what he's thinking. I'll somehow have deep insight. No, you step on the worm, right? This is what we do as humans. So I wonder if, in fact, we have been observed by aliens, and upon close examination of human conduct and human behavior, they have concluded that there is no sign of intelligent life on Earth. Tell you a couple things. Earth. NASA says we go into space by launching into Earth orbit. Do you know how high above Earth the space station orbits? No, you don't know. I'll tell you. 